Hello, sewing enthusiasts! I'm sure that you understand that exact and accurate measurement is a thing of high importance. 99% of mistakes and bad fitting are because of carelessness in measurement. Before you start measuring your client, you should already have an exact plan. Which pattern you will use, what sewing techniques you will use, what additional measurements, according to the figure of the client, will help you to achieve a perfect fit. At the beginning, you and a client are discussing the style, details, and trimmings, and only then are you starting to measure. Let me say a few words before we will start. At first, we should measure a client, and then measure a pattern. We will compare the measurements and change the pattern. Believe me, when you will understand my method, you will forget all others. It takes one second to calculate the pattern alterations using our software and five to 10 minutes to draw a pattern on the material. Then it takes six to seven hours to sew and your client could visit you for a fitting. Then it takes two to three hours to complete and make small changes. Believe me, it's possible. It takes no more than two working days to sew a wedding or an evening dress. Of course, I'm talking about only sewing a dress without spending time on hand embroidery, decorating by beads, or complex skirts. Okay, let's measure. You should face the client, and it's comfortable to place a mirror behind the back of the client so you can see where the tape measure goes and so it's easy to correct it. Now, tie up two ropes, one rope on the waist, the other on the belly. It'll be much more comfortable for you if you'll place the rope at the borderline on the bottom of the corset, but there could be some differences. For example, if the corset is shorter on its sides and longer in the middle part. In that case, you should place the rope at the corset's sides. Please pay attention to how your client is standing while you are measuring. The client should stay erect. The client shouldn't move at all. Even the client's hands shouldn't move. Ropes should also stay at the same place where you put them the first time. And I'd also like to point out that you should place the rope at the waist, exactly where it should be at the end result. It's not always the narrowest place on the belly. The client should be dressed lightly and she should wear a brassiere. If the client likes push-up bras, then she should put on the push-up. The first measurement is named bust front. The measurement is from side to side through the most prominent parts on the bust. Please pay attention to the side view. I'm always focusing on the side seams of the dress. The measurement is through the breast from one side to another. The second measurement is like the first one from side to side, but directly under the bust. I'd like to point out that it is the measurement from side to side through the front part of the body. The third measurement is the standard measurement bust circumference. Please don't stretch or relax the measuring tape. Let the client put on her favorite bra and measure as is. The fourth measurement is under bust circumference. Don't stretch the measuring tape. The client has to breathe freely when she puts on the corset. The next measurement is waist circumference. This is the only measurement when you have to stretch the measuring tape, but don't stretch too strongly. It's better to hide some in the seams later. Usually I'm hiding about four to five centimeters. By the way, it gives good shape and doesn't disturb the client. The sixth measurement is stomach circumference. Please don't stretch the measuring tape. The worst thing that can happen with a corset is cutting into the side of the body. And it's necessary to write down at what height this measurement was taken. This height is the distance between the ropes. And now we'll do a set of measurements. 
I call this set a clip or a chicken leg. These measurements help us to correct the pattern at the breast part. First measurement is the bust middle. Look at your client to determine the point where is the best place for the reliefs. The reliefs should help to shape the beautiful and proportional figure. Only after that can you start the measurement. Now press the measuring tape by your finger to the left point and turn around so you can have three measurements. The first measurement, toward the arm. The second, up toward the imaginary corner of the corset. Usually, I'm going through the shoulder strap of the bra. And the third measurement, toward the center, the distance to the low neck of the corset. You should try to imagine what the low neck of the corset looks like. It is highly individual and depends on the client. These measurements are the same as will be on the corset. Of course, you should have some experience and imagination. Don't close the armhole too much so that the corset won't chafe the arm. But otherwise, don't open it too much so not to let the corset go out too much from the body. The distance to the low neck of the corset is up to you too. But I would like to point out that if the bust is small, then you should make the low neck larger. And if the bust is large, then you should make the low neck smaller. You can have an additional measurement on the back to construct an eye for the shoulder strap. This measurement is the distance between shoulder straps. I'm looking at the shoulder straps of the bra and I'm measuring that distance. The next measurement is the width of the back, the distance between armpits from the back, when your client puts her hands down. The next measurement is the height of this eye or a corner from the waist. Further, there are several important measurements. Imagine that a client is dreaming about a corset, but her belly can't be tightened. In that case, you should have two measurements waist front and stomach front. These two measurements are the same as the first two measurements. You are measuring from one side to the other side through the first and second rope. The next additional measurement is the side height to the waist. This measurement is important in the case if the height of the client is less than 160 centimeters or more than 170 centimeters. We know the standard measurement, 18 to 19 centimeters. If the client's height is 160 to 170 centimeters. The depth of the neckline you should measure from the waist, from the rope. And in the case if the undercutting is placed rather high, then you are measuring from the center of the bust. If it is necessary, you can also measure the height of the back in the middle from waist to the top. That's all for now. Good luck. See you in the next tutorial.